All right, we're going to get right into it. Uh, basically, you want to start out with some kind of um, hoodie because you want to have layers on you in the event that it gets cold or windy, wet, or some kind of action. So always have a hoodie. The more fun looking it is, like this is kind of a boring one that I just grabbed. Uh, the more fun it is, the better it is for uh, festivals and partying. But, I mean, if you're going on a regular vacation, you might want to just fit in. Um, this is a puffer jacket, and it's got down feathers in it. And it's really super because it can fold into its own pocket. So it's, it's, it's stuffed in there. Um, this is really good. Like I said, it's another layer. They go together. Um, doesn't really provide too much uh, water protection, but... I mean, you guys could sort that out. Just get a windbreaker that, that'll go over these two. Um, over here we have, um, you know, uh, these these are clear package containers for um, TSA when you're going on an airplane. I um, like to split up, like, the pills from liquids. These are primarily for liquids. And the rule is that you can have um, one quart uh, bag, and it has to be see-through uh, with a zipper. And the individual containers that are liquid have to be less than three ounces. And you could fit as many three ounce containers as you want. And this is actually good to even be a carry on, um, not just uh, for check bags. So um, that's that. Over here, I have my man purse or man bag. And this is good because um, it could go in your suitcase where you could put a whole bunch of small items. Um, whether you have like, I don't know, makeup or little electronics chargers. Um, and this is cool because this is personal sized, um, and it comes with a strap. So if you want to just use it in your check bag as storage, or if you want to actually carry it onto the plane, that's pretty good. Uh, also if you're walking around the festival, I don't really recommend, um, like purse type things. I like backpacks so that you could rage a little harder, but um, you do you or whatever. Um, here is a Jade Voyager yoga mat. It's very, very thin, so it's not really for everyday use, but what's really cool about it, see, uh, Jade Yoga, is that it's all natural rubber. Um, it feels really good on you. Uh, it does contain latex. Um, but this can actually fold, um, it could fold like a square, which is cool. Uh, so that you could fit it in your um, your travel bag or or anything if you want to put it in your festival backpack or e even in there it, it might actually fold up nicely in there. Um, this guy over here is a waterproof backpack cover, um, and this is good for your backpacks or for your roller luggage, uh, whatever it is. If you find that you're tenting and there's not enough room in your tent and it's raining, this will keep your stuff dry. You just wrap it around your luggage. Um, that, that, this green one over here, it'll, it's so big that it'll fit around there. Um, uh, I'm, I don't really, re this is a good brand, um, or gear. I don't know where you're going to find that, but good luck. Look it up. Um, this is my tent and this is a Nemo tent. Just bought it, never disassembled or assembled it got to do that soon. Hopefully that could be another video. If this makes any sense, I'm going to grab this just with my fingers held with between my thumb and my pinky and I could lift this entire tent up. What the heck? It weighs two, it weighs less than two pounds. It's like one and a half pounds or something, maybe even less than that. Um, if it's two people, I'm really excited to demo this. Haven't tried it yet. Haven't demoed this, t uh, this chair either. REI flex light chair. This is what it's going to look like. Here's a fun uh, pattern for festivals. Everyone likes colorful stuff. Um, we're going to move up. This is um, whatever brand it is, Core, whatever, um, the Thermarest. This is pretty old. This is dated. Uh, I've had this for many years. Basically, it's a mat that's really compact. It's like, look, it's almost the same size as that. Pretty hat. And it's cool because it's not just like a foam mat. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It, like, it unrolls and you can actually put air in there. You blow it up and it's really, really good. It's better than um, 
like an inflatable air mattress because those things deflate all the time. This thing really holds the air really good. Um, okay, moving down, we have um, this is the footprint for the Nemo. So uh, basically, it goes underneath the tent. You really need um, a tarp like this that goes underneath the tents because water can go right through a lot of these tents. Some tents have built-in tarps. Um, those are pretty super um, and affordable, but this one doesn't. Make sure yours has either a built-in tarp or you get the footprint for, for your tent. Um, moving on, more layers stuff. Um, we've got, um, these are Uniqlo thermal uh, leggings that can go underneath your jeans. Um, or underneath thinner festival clothing <laughs> that I also got. And it's really good for uh, bedtime, um, sleeping, or whatever, keeping you warm. Um, definitely, definitely huge good uh, addition. Saved me in Halloween. Halloween in Florida, outside of Jacksonville, gets so cold at night. Suwanee. Um, that's the name of the town. Uh, we got... The Wise Owl Microfiber, haven't even demoed this yet, and the reason why, uh, but I always carry it, microfiber um, towels, they are really, really compact, and they soak up so much water, and they dry fairly fast, and um, I lost my last one at Decadence in Colorado, I left left it at my friend's house, didn't even bother asking him back, but yeah, um, this is almost a must. This is much better than a regular towel because look how compact it is. And it even comes in a cool carrying case. Um, you know, regular towels are a disaster. Um, here we have my uh, cheapy brand Honest Outfitters um, hammock. And Eno's hammocks are way better than this. They cost way more, but they are better. This is on its way out. I might sell this or give it away. Or something I kind of want to step my game up um, but all this stuff costs money so <laughs> we're gonna stick with it this this was I don't know maybe $35 I tried it out um, just to see if I like hammocks or not and I kind of am interested so um, we're gonna step our game up with some brand or something um, this is my hat this is hyper collapsible collapsible hats are really good I used a straw hat for electric forest um, it kind of blocked people's view because it was too big, uh, and I felt bad about that, and it kind of made my neck tired. Um, and you couldn't really put it in, um, we're going to get to this soon, my, uh, my Rage backpack. It didn't fit, but this, this hat totally will fit in there. Um, and it's going to go really good in the suitcase because it's so flat. Um, I picked this up in Thailand. Sorry, you might not be able to find this on the internet. But it's got all these little elephants that remind me of my friend Emma. That's her spirit animal. Um, and it's just fucking fun. <laughs> Ooh, no, sorry for cursing. Uh, um, it's just fun. Here is my sleeping bag. And it's in one of these. Um, I bought this bag for the sleeping bag separately. And it's cool because it's got little straps to make it nice and compact in your suitcase. That's super, you know, it's got these clip thingies that make it easy to put together even with one hand. <laughs> um, so here is the Rage backpack, and this is made by Vibration. They have since discontinued this because the straps back here rip. Um, they still make this particular size, but it's all fabric back here. Um, so... Sorry guys, this was really great. Um, yeah, like I said, these straps over here is ripping. I got it restitched um, at a tailor recently. It cost me $10 to restitch. Um, I'm really glad they could fix it. Hopefully this makes another uh, season. So as you can see, I have like tickets um, for this, um, whatever is in there. And it's, it's see-through, it's transparent. Even though it is, um, you know, holographic, you could you could um you could see right through it you know that's that's incredible that print is on the the front not even the back um and one of the reasons why that's really good um oh my gosh sorry uh is that it allows a lot of light into the backpack at night 
So if you're in the dark, it's easy to rummage through and find whatever you're looking for. Um, as you can see, there's a little strap in here, a little baggie, and some zippers that a hose can go through because this is a hydration backpack. And the reason why hydration backpacks are so important is because you can dehydrate <laughs> and that's really bad. Uh, people who are on drugs dehydrate even faster and that's why I like to carry two of these because I call myself the tank or, <laughs> or the support um, mom, I guess, because I'm always giving strangers water because they might need it. Um, this is really cool. I just picked this up. Uh, it's 1.5 ounces. Hopefully it doesn't totally taste like plastic the first few times, but that's normal the first few times. Uh, this is like a wide mouth opening. Um, and it's hard. I can't do it because I have a phone in my hand, but you slip this off and basically it opens up like a giant, a giant mouth. And that's really good for putting water inside. If it's got like a screw top, water gets everywhere. You stick this thing in, back in the backpack, water gets in your backpack. Um, this is cool because it's detachable over here and you have your mouthpiece. Sometimes I just take the plastic off and, and or the rubber off and drink straight from the plastic. We're going to figure that out. Lastly, uh, we have a collapsible water bottle canteen. And this is really cool because you can roll it up in your backpack. It doesn't take a lot of space. Um, and it only gets big when you need it. And, um, it's, this is really, this is like a handoff. Like I see people in a crowd that need water, like my squad. I just hand it off to them and hope I get it back. And it's a really bright color. Um, so hopefully that's easy to find at night if someone drops it. And there you have it guys. That's 12 minutes of me talking about all the stuff on the guest bed. <laughs> Hope you can grab any or all of this and find stuff in addition. And later I'm going to make a video putting it in one of my many suitcases and probably review those. So live, <laughs> live in love. Love you. Chime time.